All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here with another part of this Red Dead Redemption walkthrough. Let's go. So, in the last part, very eventful, a very eventful parts, uh, we finally caught Javier Escuela and Bill Williamson. We finished our, uh, I, I think for now at least, we finished our part in Mexico. Uh, we, we literally took part and did most of the fighting for the literal Mexican Revolution. I find that <laughs> insane for a video game, is what we're going through. Um, so, tying some historical elements into it. Because I know the uh, Mexican Revolution took place there in 1910. I think late 1910, from what I remember. Um, and that, yeah, that is the year this game played. Right? I think that's when this takes place, so. So, we finally finished our part in Mexico, and we're going to finally head up to the Great Plains area. I believe that's what it's called. Great Plains. We're going to head up to Blackwater. I believe it is what. I'm, I'm struggling with names here. I know Great Plains is where John Marston's uh, property and family currently resides. I remember you mentioned that earlier. Somewhere in the Great Plains area uh, is where his his farm and family resides. I don't know exactly where. I think it's closer to the Tall Trees area. I might be wrong. Ooh, there's another I Know You. Okay, that's handy. Um, Yeah, it's somewhere in this area is where John Marston's farm. I assume we're going to visit it pretty soon. But the first one we got to start off with is Agent Ross in Blackwater. So we're not not at the end of the game yet. We're getting close, though. I, I think we're definitely over halfway for sure through the campaign. But then we still got Undead Nightmares. I can't wait for that. I love that mode. I'm really excited for this. This has been a fantastic series so far to play. Oh, God. I, I, miss, I miss dialogue being this good. I really miss some of the classic games where just dialogue was heavy. There's there's good shooting elements, but oh my lord, the the constant laughter, just the, the jokes back and forth between uh, between John, even all the way back to Nigel West Dickens. It's just so good. They're so funny. This this was like peak dialogue in games. Now all the time it's like there's dialogue, but it's so boring. I, I, it's, it sucks so much half the time. It's like, it's just boring. They're just not talking about anything. They're not being, it doesn't feel like a real conversation between people. Whereas this, honestly, it feels like it does. I, this reminds me of like actual conversation sometimes. I've, you, you have with buddies. You're just sitting, uh, either at work, just chilling or just chilling. Just those, those banters you have back and forth. It, it's, it's. It's lifelike. That's what's missing a lot of games nowadays is it just feels so distant. Like somebody's disconnected with life has a conversation like. Super weird. But I actually should look around, see if there's any uh, wildlife I need to go hunting here. Because I'm still, I'm still missing some challenges. I do, I did want to get the, uh, the Legend of the West. That means you have to get rank 10 in every one. Every one of these. I'm only the closest one I am is Sharpshooter. Kill three bears each with one shot. Uh, Master Hunter's next. Kill skin five boars and three armadillos. I got the three armadillos. Still never found any boars. I think I shot one in a part and then I just left it. It wouldn't have counted towards this anyways, but still. I'm not even close to not even close to being able to do it. Wait, okay, there's some Fort Mercer Challenge, Gap 2 Breach, Pike's Basin. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch that I have not done. Okay, well, let's actually head into uh, into Blackwater here. We're in the outskirts, actually head into town here. Find Agent Ross. Oh, there's patrol missions here as well. That's nice. We're probably, uh, we're probably too late to start the mission now, so I'll probably have to, uh, buy the apartment here and rent, or uh, rent the apartment and wait. Make a save. See if it does pop up. Yeah, it's gonna say... Yep, 7 a.m., 10 p.m. So we're gonna go buy this property here. Purchase or rent. We have plenty of money, so... Should be good. Where is it at? Is it upstairs, or is it... I think it is upstairs. Nope. So I have to go through the front. Okay. 
Where is it at? Ooh, we can play blackjack. Is this it? Or is it even further up? Where is it at? Is there another level? I don't think there is another level. Look out, lady. Is it on the bottom level? Where the freak do you buy this property at? I just want to wait. Oh, sorry. Dude, where do you, where do you do this property at? You gotta talk to this guy. Oh, you probably do. Where the freak do you do this at? Oh, I'm bumping into people. How the freak do you get to this property? It's got to be close to 7 a.m. 7 at this point. What the heck? Why won't you let me freaking do this? <laughs> I just want to wait. Let me skip. You can brand me like a steer anytime. Forgive me. Okay, that's weird. You got a pistol in your pocket? You just checking out my cleavage. Oh, my lord. Let me just freaking wait. How do you buy this property here? <laughs> Have a drink, why not? Let's see what we can do. This is not what I wanted. I just want to rent the property, please. Just let me do it. I'm famous enough. You have to let me rent the property. You look like a blackjack player. What's going on with you? It, it would feel like this is it, but it's not. I don't get that. Wait, what? You can just save the game here? I don't own this property, though. What is going on? Okay, I wasted that time for no reason. Great. Make this save here. Okay, that was that was a waste of time. I am gonna throw in a little. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. This uh, video comes out on Friday. It was filmed beforehand, so I could enjoy my uh, Thanksgiving break here. We got uh, Thursday and Friday off for Thanksgiving for my work where I work at. So. Filmed ahead of time to uh, enjoy Thanksgiving. This is yeah. this video will go out the day after Thanksgiving, but still, I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving. Hey. Spend some time with your family. Enjoy some free time. Let's see. Here we go. See Mr. Ross? 107. 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. 117. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, 
or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squabble by another lowlife. We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, oh, yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. I was going to say, as soon as the cutscene started, it, it very well showed that he is well acquainted with this oh, building. Mr. Marston, so, one more thing. Definitely been here before. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing. Ooh, we get a new pistol? Nice. This is what I wanted. I want all the semi auto guns. Mistake. Yeah, conveniently while aimed at these, that dude's head. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Ooh, Nigel West oh, Dickens. Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, West Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. I he lied. Story. What's new? But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. <laughs> and because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. See, Come good on, deeds, Marston. good Moral deeds. Degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. Three Yeah, escape while you can. Don't, don't. What is this with their dude counting here? I don't get it. I know it's a valuable skill in this time period, so. Are we are we hunting down this dude Dutch right now? Because I don't, I don't even know who that is. I know it's a it's a name from Red Dead 2, so a game will eventually play on this channel. So maybe we'll learn the more then. Company Agent Ross to the Serendipity. We're gonna skip to destination. I'm not waiting for all this crap. It's not far now. Oh, is, there it is. Wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. Oh, you're gonna do and no do help as again. I say, Marston, don't try anything stupid. Dude, just oh, let me I handle think it. He knows what's at stake, don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Honestly, just let me use my sniper. We don't even have to go down there. Pick everybody off and then just investigate later. Why are we going on foot? Right, let's go, Mr. Marston. Okay, let's go. We got backup this time, that's good. What's this high power pistol? Still got our bolt action, semi auto shotgun, my rifle, yep. Let's do the bolt action for now. It looks empty, I don't see anybody here. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. Done. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. He's John's talking crap, but I like that suit. I wish I could equip it myself. I really need to rock uh, the elegant suit that you can use to cheat in Blackjack as my main outfit, but I like the poncho. The poncho looks good. So what are we doing here? It, this looks barren. That doesn't look like anybody's here.
I want to go meet my wife and kid. Seems real quiet, don't you think? Exactly. You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. Oh, we're gonna get ambushed, aren't we? Yeah, it's way too quiet. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. Oh, make me do all the work. What's new? Investigate the noise. Well, I got the semi-auto shotgun, so. Go on, those screams are coming from somewhere. It's upstairs, isn't it? How do we get upstairs? Here's some stairs here. Where's it coming from? I don't know how to get up there. I'm gonna go to the back. Let's try that. That's to the water, so let's try out the other side. Is there a way up at the back of the boat? Yes, there is. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Over here! I found him! Good God, that's our informant! Oh, Gosh, yeah, it's ambush. It's a trap! Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this man! I don't think you can walk! Dude, you carry him. I'm better with the gun. What are you doing? Devil! Why am I? We need to clear a path out of here! It's me or you, mister! You tough guy, huh? The army is on its way! Dude, why am I carrying him? I'm better with the gun. They're everywhere! What the hell's happening here? You're making a big mistake! Dude, yeah, just... <laughs> First off, this pistol is amazing, but why am I doing the carrying? Oh my good God! Well, there is a lot of guys here. Pop your head up. Dude, this freaking gun is amazing. Stay alert. Oh, I love this gun. I'm gonna use this from now on. Dude, this is sick. Okay, so it was an ambush. Dutch. I got him. I got Nostis shot once. I hope he's okay. Unbelievable. Can I stop carrying this dude now? He was just fine. He was talking. Why is he need carrying? Either way, Dutch is not here. Whoever that is, I don't know what he looks like yet. But how'd they get past this, this guy? Now that I think about it. Oh, Who's it's this? it's so slow. What in God's name is going on. It's your informant. I don't know him. You do. Oh, it's so slow. There better not be some wolves. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Dude, I'm doing literally this in this case, doing Let's all go. the heavy there lifting. Ride to Blackwater? Are we just skipping a destination, or is it a shootout on the way? What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. 
And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh... Uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant. Nasta get snarky with me, Fordham. Dude, he's we out cold. On the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws, especially when one of them's an office clerk or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! skip to Blackwater? Like, what is going on? I really wish we could skip this. It looks like we're riding through it. I don't know why, though. Is that a... Is that a buffalo or a... Oh, we're here. Okay. Come on, not now. Oh, what people are going to be chasing us, isn't they? That's why we couldn't skip. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Boston, we'll hold them off. Fordham, we'll fix that damn engine. Dude, once again, I'm doing all... Oh my god, it's a hand crank. Way. No way. Go home, buddy. This ain't good, Frank. Dude, why, why is he not getting into cover? There we go. Gotta say, why is he not getting into cover? I'm pressing RB. Dude, that is so cool. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir. I think so. That is such a cool vehicle. Literally like the first generation of vehicles. It's insane. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You make me blush with all these kind words. Now we can so skip to destination. This, this is the future. God help us all. <laughs> They're a lot better now. Bad workmen shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. Give me one of them. An ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. Dude, I don't care. Give me one of them. I'm gonna skip to destination. It's it's good banter, but I also wanna should take carry on with the missions. McDougal. See what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Dude, he spoke English. What is he talking about? Here we are. Thank God for that. Do I gotta carry him again? So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. I should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? G good day. G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Mm. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thing. What's the rush next? More fame. Sorry, hit, hit my controller on the desk. So, is it just Agent Ross? We can do that mission. Of, of, oh, no, there is a McDougal mission. Let's do this one first. We'll do both of them, but we'll just start off with this. At home with, at home with Dutch? Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. 
Put these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ha <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. Oh, so it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It, it takes one back to a primal state. It, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know we cannot see the stars. But still, my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinay. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Why are we taking this McDougal guy? He's kind of useless. Time to do our bit for humanity, Mr. Marston. I, I love that. <laughs> First off, this is literally the time frame yeah. of people giving straight up hardcore drugs as so, medicine, which is insane when you look back at when you, you look at back in the past. Dude, kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vandalin fascinates me. A white man living among natives, a civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized! Ah, but of course! <laughs> Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. He was <sighs> high on cocaine, anyway, apparently. Yes, some kind of Robin Hood Oedipus communist tale of naivete and betrayal. That's a freaking buffalo. Directly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Marston, Buffalo. Oh, what a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. Yep, sadly. What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Yep. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. Yeah, but that's if you give them time to evolve. If you hunt all of them, they can't... These trees are quite <laughs> I mean... foreboding, the stars. Are, are you sure Jeez. this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. Tall you never trees, see there trees we go. Before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. It's this way, mister. I owe. Good lord, no. Oh, I my lord, that's a bear. I that's two bears. Mind, Mr. Marston. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white... I was trying to see if I could do the sharpshooter challenge where I uh, kill one bear and one shot each. Oh, 
Oh, don't. Uh, none of them were one shot. Why is there so many freaking bears in this area? Can I? Ooh, um. Dude, why is the... Okay, I'm trying to do this freaking hunting. Why is there so many bears? Aren't bears territorial? Why is there freaking six of them? Full-grown bears. It's not like a mother and her cubs. This is four full-grown bears. Why is there so many? <laughs> it's ridiculous. We got to take that whole ride again. I hope not. Come on, load. Oh, we do. I'm so sorry, everybody. A scientist, a criminal, and a savage. Do you have any other uh, stronger we weapons? Come, let's hurry. Stay close. Ooh, Springfield might be Come stronger. On. Maybe we can one-shot a bear. So, tell me, Nastasi. Oh, I'm sad. I'm so sorry, everybody. Modus operandi? Oh, oh dear. What am I thinking? Forgive me. Have you seen what the white man is doing in the mountains? I've already proved he's gone to school. Why is he doing this? I didn't. He has been rounding up young men, promising them freedom and a return to their lands. Many are angry and desperate enough to believe him. Sounds familiar. Ah, yes, Mr. Marston. It's all coming back to me now. Weren't there some similar ideals tangled up in your story? Dutch was always fighting to change something, but nothing ever changed. People just died. Maybe that's what sent him crazy. My word, this just keeps getting better. You see, this is what I came to the West for. Tales of noble, misguided outlaws trying to twist wrong into right. I'd pay a dollar for your dime novel, Mr. Marston. Let me tell you. Vanderlyn says he's helping my people, but they don't see what he's turning them into. There's no truth in it, just hate and violence. Oh, Nastas, my dear sweet Nastas. Surely you can't be hypothesizing it is Vanderlyn who has turned them savage rather than the other way around. That sounds about right to me. What an intriguing notion. <laughs> Utterly absurd, of course, but I love a good chicken and egg conundrum. I will enjoy wrestling with that one in the small hours. Yes, I will. This is the guy type of guys you hate. They're smart, but like... They just refuse to going? admit they're wrong. We will need to go a lot higher. Cochine is up in the mountains. It's this way, mister. Is there going to be more bears this time? Some of the way. Climb? Oh, I really don't know about this. My stomach is in knots. Oh, I hope I'm not having another anxiety attack. Do I look feverish to you? Calm down, professor. You'll be fine. Are you sure it's is safe up there, Nastas? Those people won't tear us limb from limb. They might. And no, it's not safe no more, sir. Not since Mr. Vanderlyn arrived. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I've made a terrible mistake. They ain't much meat on you, sir. They go for Mr. Marston here first. What the devil do you mean? Cannibals? I thought it was just the Karankawa. Oh, dear Lord. I'm only playing with you, Mr. McDougal. Most of these men attended school and learned English. Just like you. Yes, yes, very funny, I'm sure. Oh, now we got wolves. Great. All sorts of wild animals. I like that the dialogue changed when There's I die. That cliff. is interesting. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. Okay, I was about to say, we're going to have to kill those wolves. They're going to chase us. But nope, cutscene. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a head How do we bring him heights? along anyways? <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. How do we bring him? Way. I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Let's get moving, mister. I wish I had a silenced weapon now, now that I think about it. Use Nastas to climb. Okay, get up the cliffs. Help him up. I hope he's more useful than Fordham was. He was kind of useless. I did all the shooting. Saving Nastas. Nastas.
Can I can I go? Oh, it's gonna collapse. Damn. Give me See, a good run up. I can make it. Another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Just give me a good run up. Catch my hand. Lean over the edge and catch me. Find an alternate way up the cliffs. First off, good upper body strength, John. I was about to say, how do I drop down? I'm trying to press X. No, it's Y. Okay, where are we heading to here? I'm going to get out the uh, high power pistol just in case. There's my horse right there. We didn't go very far yet. Is there anybody around here? Ooh, raccoon. Nastas. I think there's a path through this cave. Is this actually going to lead us to Dutch? Or is it, uh, this, we, no, it's probably going to be the, uh, natives that we're going to encounter here. Not Dutch. The people from the reservation. Good. This should save us some time. We don't have any cart to just push down here and ride along. Oh, now I see why we wouldn't. They're going to have to blow that. Nope, there's a path. I thought, that, I thought it was going to be a blockage and we'd have to blow it up with the TNT. Nope. That's boring. Come on. Let me use the TNT. Oh, this, no, this is a blockage. This way. Th there's no other way, dude. You, this is a one way. And we're going to be blocked in now. <laughs> he just got sliced, didn't he? Oh, it's gonna be a minecart. Dynamite! Get out of here! Oh, escape, escape, escape. God damn it! Just run off home! Is he okay? Is it just the cut or has he been shot? Bad. We're not I carrying you this you time. Any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I was about to say, I'm not carrying you again, up. my guy. Or see you on the way down. Dude, it's just a cut. It's not pleasant, don't but you can make it. Me. Stop acting don't like he's going to die. Good luck. Climb the rest of the cliffs. Okay, I thought we were going to go up the minecart there. What am I calling it a minecart? It's not Minecraft. Ooh, don't get- can you get sprayed by a skunk? I need to test that out, honestly. I hear a bear. Why is there a dead icon up there? This is not good. We have two shots. I can't- I can't take it out unless... I don't like that. I, I, I think you need the buffalo rifle. I'm going to go ahead and skin these while we're here, but I think you need that buffalo rifle, but I don't know how to get it. I don't know if I need to do more challenges and get my uh, sharpshooter or something up further, or if it's a mission, or is it a stranger? I don't know. It's a big horn. Skin the bear. I assume the buffalo rifle is the only way to take out these guys in one shot. You stink. Maybe I'm going to head back to Armadillo in between parts here and find out if I can buy that yet. We have to be able to buy it, right? It's not a side mission one. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Am I? Where am I going here? 
Oh, there's a ledge up there, so it is over here. Turned into a freaking parkour game. Oh, there's the icon over there. Okay. Unlimited stamina, John. You got this. We're going back in a cave system. Jeez. Okay, that was close. Is that a bobcat or is that a jaguar? I think it's a bobcat. Or is it a jaguar or is it a leopard? I don't know the di difference. I think that's a bobcat, though. Let's see. What is it? Let's make this quick. Cougar. Sorry, I completely forgot of a cougar. How did I forget that? Come on, climb up. You're slow, John. You got unlimited stamina, but you can't climb a little quicker than this. He's getting tired. I guess I can't complain too much. I wouldn't have made it past the first one. Jesus. Is there no other way up? And that's an eagle. Don't shoot that. We are not shooting the eagle. That's not Gnostis, is it? No, that's a different dude. I was about to say, how did he beat us up here? Uh, where's our throwing knives? There we go. I missed the first one, sadly. Get the binoculars. Oh, there's a lawman. Is that Dutch? That's a white dude. It has to be Dutch, right? And he saw us. How the freak? Shot the binoculars. You, there's no way John dies like this. That's pathetic if he dies like this. Mr. Marston. Ah, oh. Mr. Marston. Of course, they gotta give us a way to not Mr. shoot Dutch. Marston. Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you, and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters. Before, this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Oh, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Uh, then again. <laughs> At home with Dutch. Of course well, they had to well, give us a way to not end up shooting Dutch. We could have just taken him out right there, but they had to... 
Oh, no. Dutch somehow noticed it was a different person from freaking 100 yards away. And just, oh, yeah. Quick scope him with a freaking pistol. Somehow not killing John. Somehow hitting the binoculars and just knocking him unconscious. Instead of sending up there... Someone, if, he, if he knew it was me or not the right person, he would have sent somebody to shoot him. Like, what the freak? It was literally just an excuse to not uh, not get him killed. So, wait, there's another McDougal mission already? Which one do we want to do? Agent Ross or McDougal? Um, let's go ahead and do another McDougal. If we got a reason with the Indians there or the natives... Uh, let's go ahead and do that one. Or he's high on drugs. That works too. Ah, Marston, sir. It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say to both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Where the devil is the stars? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? This dude's insane from all the drug use, honestly. My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down? I I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, Professor. So much Mr. drug Martin. use, man. This is those days. Like I said, literally prescribing hardcore nar narcotics as uh, a medicine this is, is not a good idea. Of research. What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Boom roasted. Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. I agree. God, he's so insulting. Yeah. And his mind is messed up from, like I said, hardcore drug use. What the heck, man? But this is a, a time when we just didn't know as much. I'm actually a little nervous, I have to say. <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. That's no probably kid. the drug use. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Easy. It's a bear. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Anger her. Now we have no choice. Dude, dude, oh, did my horse get, I thought my horse got killed. What is going on with my horse? It won't let me on until I kill the bear. Is this freaking bear immortal? Jeez. And none of its friends should up, show up unless it's a mate, but why is there so many bears yeah. in one small area? That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, was that my fault? Would have ignored us and moved on. That might have been my fault. Well, I did well, throw a knife at say, it. Perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir, have nothing but my innate instinct for self preservation. And a rifle. This is it. Whoa. Where? Oh, right here. Get off your horse. We certainly brought a lot of fellows with them. Well, let's get this started. Oh, right. Oh, how did I, I miss these guys? Up. Holy crap. I go to the cabin. I missed all these guys up ahead of me. 
so the the gray and black haired guy uh, uh, that must have been butch or uh, dutch sorry freaking incredible shot if that last uh cutscene had anything to show for it hello gentlemen we come in dude peace. they know so english nothing coming from people like you look at what you've done to us look at us we live like animals scrabbling in the dirt well, I, but, but, I, but violence isn't the answer maybe you live in a different america than we men like vanderlint will lead you to disaster i think we've already experienced disaster the likes which you could only imagine put your hands up we come in peace but do as he says Marston. you call this a meeting give me your damn weaponry this is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn it, hey, Dutch! <laughs> Professor, get down now! They killed the Freaking stars. Gnostis is dead, what the heck? It's a nightmare! Do something quick! Just keep your head then! Don't leave me alone in here, will you? What is this? I think about enough of field work for yeah. today. Yeah, dude, you are home. useless in a fight. I don't know about you, Professor, but How I say we get is... the hell out of here. Gnostis yes, is just get dead. Out of this hell and back to civilization. I hate to say this. Can I steal his horse, though? Come on. It's a beautiful horse. Okay, this is great. That dude was that, that was a good dude. We just get shot quickly. in the face like that. There's plenty more where they came My from. God, I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at'll do that to I'm you. Completely drained. Once again, like I think the drug use could play into that. I think the drug use could play into all of his, his, his symptoms. Stutter in there. Like, that plays into everyone. <laughs> the adrenaline probably doesn't Let's help, go. but the narcotic use is uh, not helping with his jitters Fast. and his uh, pounding headache. Oh, Gotta catch up here. Okay, I gotta do all the shooting. It, it looks like uh, McDougal's actually shooting, but he's kind of useless, so... Well, I can safely say that that was the worst experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater! Oh, I will never talk ill of you again! Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal! And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind. And oh my god, he is addicted. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. Easy. This dude's addicted to <laughs> narcotics. It's an insane storyline here. Easy. Where are we going? Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Give some rest, Professor. You can, uh... You can hardly call that dude a professor. It's kind of uh, a bad name to call him. Careful. Oops, well, sorry. Careful there, Wait, no, hold up. Now that I think about it, we didn't buy this place. Green Icon is already rented. Did we somehow own this place from earlier? I don't know how that works. And we're uh, we're not even going to acknowledge that freaking Gnostis just got shot in the face. The prof professor, so-called professor, didn't even acknowledge it. That's insane. That's a good dude who just got shot in the face right in front of us. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.